mean, I just do not understand. Now, I've been reviewing Bleach for a long time now. Now, a lot of you have seen my videos where I debunk this or counter that. I bring up a lot of good points and valid arguments. And a lot of people call bullshit on the things Kubo writes. And I think for the first time in a long time, I think I'm one of those people in this review because... Unless I miss something, I call bullshit. Now, here we go. Now, of course, we all know I couldn't push on my review last week. You know, dealing with you, Makan, things like that, but... I'm still going to give my thoughts on Bleach Chapter 649 as well as Bleach Chapter 650. Now the whole thing with Bleach Chapter 649, you know, his whole, his throat gets cut. You know, at first I'm thinking, okay, did he get decapitated? But his throat just got cut. Now, so one translation says he got decapitated. Another one says, you know, he just, his throat just got cut. I believe that's what it was translated in 650, but back to 649. We all know the big yippee yippee shocker of it. The whole canon transition into the whole appearance of the Zompot Soul Spirits, the manifestation of it. Now, this wasn't a full shocker to me, seeing as how Kubo did design the look of the uh, Zompot Souls for the arc, the filler arc. So, but people were wondering, oh, does this make this canon? Does this make this canon? No, this is not a canon. This would happen is not canon. Alright? Before this arc started, look what was going on in this story. And then look at it. You, it's just, it's not canon. I'm going to say it again. This is not canon. Alright? These events that took place, it's not canon. I'm sorry. It's not. Alright? I know, yes, I get it. This was the best arc. Now the beast, sort of like that little mini expansion of the arc, the Zapatero Bay arc, that, this is the beast, uh, that, no, I didn't really know. So, the look of it, okay, that's the look. Now, the thing about it is, some are still arguing the fact about Hyanimaru, you know, we see as a dragon, but then here he's a human, but not at the... The Zampato designs are canon. It's like, okay, so which one is it going to be? But whatever. That's still left up for debate. But it's cool. We get to see the, a closer, intimate style relationship between Shuntui and his Zampato. You know, um, she even commented on the kimono he was wearing. Of course, that belongs to another woman. But the thing is, the one thing I did not like about the chapter at all. First thing first, I knew Lyle wasn't dead. I knew he was not dead. Because I'm thinking to myself, no, it, it, it just can't be it. it this cannot be it. Now, it clearly, yes, that, that did seem like a devastating blow. The throat. His throat got slit, you know. Yes, in Bleach, we've seen characters get pierced and impaled. They're still fighting with holes in their body, you know. Swords stuck through them. Getting knocked through buildings and mountains, etc. Arms lopped off. But the throat was slit. And it looked like, I don't know if that was a big air bubble or <laughs> spared energy just coming out of his neck. But I'm thinking, okay, he just can't be done. Now, the thing I didn't like about the chapter, and I'm like, okay, here we go with this. Maybe it was just bad timing on what happened, how this was the last panel. How are we seeing this energy just pierce right through his stomach? Because, of course, we've seen Shoto, he was laying in the lap of his Alpato spirit. You know? And... Right there, the reason why I, that was my least favorite part of the chapter because the shock, I, I wasn't shocked. I mean, it was sort of like a, oh, damn. Like, oh, okay, Lyle isn't dead. Yes, but at the same time, it's like, okay, we know Shunsu isn't going to die. We know he's not going to die. So Kubo sets it up to where we see these main important characters take these devastating blows. We think, oh, man, they're all done. They're dead. We've seen this done so many times. So many times. When Aizen was dropping everybody. You know? We thought Momo was dead. We thought Shinju was dead. We thought uh, Toshiro was dead so many times. We thought Shunsu was dead. You know, back then. 
when he was fighting Isaac. Some thought Show 2 was dead now. But no. So, just seeing that, that, that whole, it's kind of like a crying wolf with the characters. You know, I, that, that, that didn't shock me at all. But, to see him still evolve. Now, we see Lyle is in his vault standing, you know, but he's yet... He's still evolving, and we see what he evolved into is something very bizarre and crazy. He has the long neck like a Brachiosaurus or a Diplodocus, and he has the face of an owl. You know, eyes look like they're two different colors, and um, we see his arm. Just, he just made an arm appear. He held it up vertically, and he just shot a big-ass beam right at Shunsu. Now, the thing is, this design, it fits. You know, he says he's a messenger from God. It fits him. The reason why I say that he's a, he's a messenger from God, you know, he, he's the, uh, the uh, to him he believes he's unstoppable, he's immortal, he's looking at show between the soul reapers as sinners, and if you uh, know anything about the Bible or anything about angelic beings, they did have bizarre looking characteristics. Some even had an animal type of characteristic, and for the God believers, you know, um, what's normal in his eyes with a lot of things can look bizarre in our eyes, so those uh, angelic, I believe in the book of Revelations, these angelic beings that were sitting in front of God's altar, you know, according to the Bible, you know, they had some bizarre characteristics like multiple heads and different mouths and eyes. So to see these uh, Quincy's who will represent, you know, a higher angelic appearance or, or power or higher authority, they look down on the shoulders like you're all, you're, you're, you're all black. You represent death, you're beneath us, you know, you're the sinners. Sort of sort of the things Asna was saying to Biakua. But it, it, it just fit him the theme. It fits the theme how crazy he looks. But this is just really crazy. I can only imagine what King of Lightning is saying, because I remember in the one video <laughs> when, when, how he was just saying, Kubo, the way you design the brothers in Bleach, you know. Now Tolson, his original look idea like that, but when he turns to that bug like Nah, but Lyle, he takes the cake when it comes to just being bizarre. Anyway, the overall thing. Now, to me, I, overall, I thought Bleach 649 was okay. It kept moving forward, the pacing. It didn't touch on any of the other characters or scenery because right now, this is the main thing right now. We got to see Shunji's Bunkai. We want to know what's going to happen with Lyle. This is a big, important fight. Um, so I, I see why Kubo is keeping the focus here. Um, if we see chapters ago, he just went away a little bit from the fight just to show the reaction of everyone else to give us the smidgen update. So we just want to think like, damn, they're still split up looking for Grim Job, and Grim Job still SOL, and um, Yuri and Kampacha are still, you know, in their regenerative capsules, but whatever. Bleach chapter uh, 650. The Revelation. That the now Zanpato was Kyukutsu, not Katen. Katen, we see, is uh, just Shunsui Zanpato. Kyukutsu, Kyukutsu was the now's um, Zanpato. And apparently, the now was aware of this whole thing, was aware of the relationship between Shunsui and her mother. I believe that pink kimono. They belong to her mother, you know? But this is my thing. This is where I want to call bullshit on it. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm overlooking something or missing something. Now, we've all, we've never seen her Zanpato in this series. Never. You know, we remember when Shunto and Ukutaki was first fighting uh, uh, um, Old Man Yama. When he was saying like, okay, these two the first captains, the first to graduate the academy, the first to become captains, they have the only two Zapato, the dual twin Zapatos in all of Soul Society. All of Soul Society. Then someone would add on Shuhei Hisagi, and of course Ichigo, but whatever. Now we see, of course, we remember when he did the uh, command release. But prior to that, we see Nanao, she was going to help Shunsui. When she said there's only one thing for me to do, I believe. I think she said there's only one thing I can do or something I can do. And she goes to reach, reach and reach into her sleeve to grab her Zanpato. Why do I say her Zanpato is in there? There's a colors. Look, here, here it is, right there. See, it's circled. Right there, the colors for her Zanpato is in her sleeve. 
So if she was there with Sun Tzu, reaching for a Zanpato, but Sun Tzu already had two, you get what I'm saying? If he already had two Zanpatos and she's reaching for a Zanpato, I feel she was reaching for a Zanpato. What was she reaching for? A potion? A blow dart? A freaking, the book? To look at some keto spells? No, I believe that was her Zanpato that she was reaching for. Or maybe when old man Yama was just staring at just focusing the spiritual pressure towards her. Now she just couldn't stand it. And soon as we came to shield her, maybe off panel, while he was shielding her, he had his hand over her head. He reached and grabbed his up. I told too, but no, I doubt that. I doubt it. It's just, I'm, I hope Kuo did not just pull this out of his ass. Now maybe this was a quick foreshadow, like a hint. One of the fourth uh, levels of secrets. But, it's just, I mean, and we know in the now she was part of the uh, uh, eighth, eighth squad when she was younger. Real young. We've seen in the turn back to Pendulum Arc, she always looked for Lisa for her to rear stories, you know. But to me, this revelation is crazy. This whole time, that is her Zon Pato. She was well aware, well, well aware of it. Now we see a lot of Lyle, he goes on to say, I'm immortal, I'm invincible, you can't defeat me, you think. Okay. Now he, well, that's the funny thing. He, he did say, he basically he did say he can die because he was saying, you think. A, a mere captain's bunk would be enough to kill me or to defeat me. Because, so he's acknowledging that he can't be defeated and can't be killed, but at the same time, he's just saying, I'm immune, I, I can't die. Maybe that's just his arrogance, you know? But <sighs> we see basically Kyoko to, no, Katen can't do anything. Even the Zapato spirit admitted it, can't do anything. So now it's going to be up to. Uh, Kyoko too. Man, why does it look alike? Well, but you know what? I said it before. Maybe we get the, in our other Bleach reviews when we see something that's just puzzling or shocking or just don't make sense. We would get the answers in the next chapter. In the next chapter. But wait, actually, let me see how much time I have left. Okay, good amount of time left. But it just is boggling and crazy how. <laughs> Oh my god, it's, it's just, now like all the things he was, throughout the series, even in this final arc seemed like it's just getting out all of the uh, answers, the, mis the mysteries, and I, I get that. Uh, some called Bull when Eisen was like, I knew about you since the day you were born. And people was thinking like, okay, or oh, whatever, Eisen. And we see it turn out to be true, but this whole backstory thing, I, it better be a good explanation. It has to be. Because... Come on now. Come on. So, what does it look like with this battle? I hope I'm wrong about this. Looks like the now Zanpato will be the one to defeat uh, Lyle. But it seems like he's on his last leg. Show to me. But I swear if the Nile beats Lyle. Leo, whatever the hell his name is, Starlight X. This freaking weird Avon, Avon Galen looking thing. If he, if she defeats him, it's gonna see where, yes, the ability is, uh, but since the ability is effective, it's still hand in hand with the Shinigami. The Shinigami has to be powerful along with the Zanpato and the ability. Everything is in perfect synchronization. And she hasn't used her Zanpato in just eons, clearly. You know? But I'm thinking, okay, but we have seen instances where other people, other soldiers have used other Zanpatos. We see uh, Tosin, that example. Uh, Kenpachi, he took the Zanpato from someone else and then he just, you know, the whole Akasuchi thing. Um, so I wasn't really fully puzzled about that, but at the, with them looking the same. And the whole Bunkai thing of it. And it, so how would that work with her? Clearly she hasn't achieved Bunkai. But yet it's... This is what Kubo does at times. I will admit. But it's... I mean, I'm at work thinking about this. I'm cooking in the kitchen at home thinking about this. I'm on my way home thinking about this. Like, wait a minute. this I don't know. It, it was, it was, it's just, damn, so, 
now we really see in a situation like this, who knows the reason we will get to see uh, soon to, not soon to, that Hisagi's Bunkai, because he's down and out. Who is he going to use it on? I, I just don't get it, but at least give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns down below. Um, I got to do what I can with the Humicon video. I'm backlogged the Gundam. Uh, I'm, this is <laughs> this is crazy, man. But now nah, her her spirit is the freaking the, the, whatever. But it's me, Captain Visor Day. So I'll see you all next week. Thank you all for watching this video. I'll see you all with the Bleach Chapter Six Hundred Fifty One. Signing out.